Well, hello there. Welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at what Cisco Secure Access has to offer when it comes to posture profiles. So let's check out the configuration options that are available. On the left hand side, you see Secure, and then you get the option of Endpoint Posture Profiles. Go ahead and click on that. Once I click on that, you'll find that we land on Zero Trust Connection, as you can see right here, just to point it out zero trust connection and then you have a vpn connection so that makes it two but inside zero trust connection you have two options one for client based and one for browser based so let me just show it to you real quick so client based and browser based when it comes to client based posture profiles it says posture profiles to use when the cisco secure client is installed on the end user device as clear as that and then you have the browser based in with posture profiles to use when the cisco secure client is not installed on the end user device access is possible only using a browser right so with the vpn connection you just have one option and that is to add posture profiles define posture requirements for end user devices connecting to the network using a vpn the vpn client must be installed on the end user device. Requirements are checked when the device connects to the network. So this is the posture at a uh, connect time. All right, so first we'll cover the VPN connection posture profiles and do a quick demo for it. All right, so let's begin by adding a posture profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add posture profile. So we start by giving it a name, as you can see right here, and then we got these eight requirements right here. Now we can mention any of these requirements or we can mention all of these eight requirements, but make sure that it tells you right here that each requirement is optional and requirements can be configured in any order. Endpoints must meet all configured requirements. So if you configure eight requirements, the endpoint devices will have to meet all these eight requirements, if they try to connect to the RAVPN profile, that has this posture profile called in, right? So let's give it a name. All right, so let's give it a name. Let's say the network Viking underscore Windows operating system. So I'm gonna call this VPN posture profile inside a VPN profile. So the idea is, the endpoint devices that try to connect to the VPN head end using that VPN profile, they should be able to connect to the VPN head end only and only when they have the Windows operating system. If they do not have the Windows operating system, then they should not be able to connect. So this is where you select what the operating system should be for the end devices for them to be able to connect. Now I'm gonna say Windows operating system. And if you want, you can select any specific version if you want. However, I'm gonna go with the default, completely your choice. And then the second option that we have is endpoint security agent. All right, so as it says right here, require an endpoint security agent to be running on the endpoint device. So you can select the operating system from here. So let's say Windows, and then you get to select the vendor and based on whatever vendor you select, you get to select the product. So you select the product and here as the last option, you can check this box. So let me just quickly show it to you. You can check this box, which basically says that whatever uh, you know security agent that you selected, it must have been updated within the last, and then you select the option. You got 14 days, you got 90 days, you got 365 days, and other options as well. So let me just show that to you as well. 365 days, for example. So you got a lot of options in there, right? And for that, you need to check this box if you want this to happen or not. And then after that, you got Windows Registry Entries. All right, so with this one, you get to configure if the endpoint device that's trying to connect to the VPN head end has certain Windows Registry Entries in them. So if you click on this checkbox, you'll find that you're able to enter uh, you know, the entry path for the registry, mention the value, and you are able to add more entries in there, right? 
So if I add another one, I say local machine, for example, and give it a value, for example, and then I go ahead and click on add to add another one and so on. If I want the endpoint device to have all of these registry entries that I can select all, if I want any one of these uh, registry entries to be there, anyone should be fine, then I can go ahead and select any and be done with it, right? So in this um, demo, I'm not going to use it. So therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck that. And then I go to firewall. And similarly, in this case as well, you select the operating system and then select the vendor and so on. Right, so you got all these options, disk encryption. Again, you mentioned Windows, vendor, and so on. So with this one, file, with the file, you have the option that, hey, these files should be present in the endpoint device. And then you mention, again, the operating system, the path, and again, this option, the file must have been updated within the last, and you have the same amount of days here as well, 365 days being the highest and zero days immediately. Mention the file path, the checksum, and click on add if you want to add multiple files, and then go ahead and click on next. Right, so you got processes and you got certificate and that's it. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with the operating system. And that is why I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the demo. Um, I would highly encourage going ahead and checking out the other options. And in case you want me to show you the, any of the uh, other options, do let me know in the comments section. I'll be very happy to do that. But for now, this should be sufficient. In the demo, I'm going to show you what happens if the endpoint device has Windows and what if the endpoint device does not have Windows. Or maybe I'll just change the operating system to macOS and then try to connect uh, to the VPN profile again from the same operating system. So I'm just going to show it to you. Don't worry. Let's jump right into it. Now, before jumping into the demo, let's go ahead and call uh, this VPN posture profile inside the VPN profile that we want the endpoint device to try to connect to. For that, I'm just going to go ahead and say next. OK, not next. I'm going to just say save and exit. So once I'm done with that, you'll find that TNV Windows OS shows up uh, as one of the VPN uh, posture profiles present inside the VPN posture profiles uh, list. I will see the posture profile right here. So we're going to go ahead and call it inside the VPN profile now. So for that, I'll just go ahead and click on connect and then go to end user connectivity and then go to VPN. I'm going to go ahead and edit the VPN profile that I want this posture profile to be in. So here at the bottom, you get this option. As you see, it says it's optional, and I get to select from this drop down. So once I click on it, I will be able to select the posture profile that we configured just a minute ago TNV underscore Windows OS. That's it. So I'm done with it. I've called the posture profile in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and directly say save. All right, so from the endpoint device, I'm going to go ahead and try to connect to the network Viking. So if I click on it, it's going to go ahead and try to connect to it. Let's see. Let's wait for it. OK, ready to connect. It's trying to contact it. So this is cert based and therefore I'm not, I've not configured SAML uh, for this profile and therefore it's not going to ask me for the username and password. Posture assessment updating. Perfect. OK, that looks good because I did not have any posture um, profile assigned to this VPN profile before. Right. And this is do it's doing the posture assessment for the first time. Establishing VPN connection. Great. Activating VPN adapter. And established. Perfect. So if I try to go ahead and change the posture from a Windows operating system to Mac operating system, and try to test the same on this Windows um, PC, this endpoint, I will not be able to connect because it's going to give me an error. So let me just go ahead and quickly make that change and then try to connect again. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say disconnect. All right. All right. So back here, I'm going to go ahead and change this to, let's say, 
not Windows. I want uh, it to be a Mac operating system. I want the end device to have the Mac operating system on it. All right, so I'm going to change its name. Let's say Mac OS X. Right, and say save and exit. All right. All right, so after making the change in the VPN posture profile, let's try to connect now. Let's see what do we get. I click on connect. It says ready to connect. We should not be able to connect. It checks whether the endpoint device has certain you know, requirements uh, that the administrator has put up. And if uh, the endpoint device does not have those requirements fulfilled, then the posture is going to fail and the endpoint device would not be able to connect to the VPN headend using that VPN profile. The scanning, what the, if you check the logs, it's not going to throw you, it's not going to show you an error, but this is going to say that the whole scan scanning completed because it did, right? There's no error as such because that's how the admin has configured the posture to be. Your endpoint device lacks those requirements, right? So it's not an error error. It's just that your end device is not, does not have those requirements fulfilled. So what do you see here? It says, login tonight. Your environment does not meet the access criteria defined by your administrator. That's it. As simple as that. That's how posture works. Um, uh, so uh, I think this video is already uh, longer than expected. So possibly I'm going to create uh, another video for uh, the ZTNA uh, posture profiles for client-based and the browser-based.